Alright, so today we're going to be doing an install of the uh, Trailtech Endurance 2 Speedo Dash onto a um, 06 um, KDM 450 EXC. Uh, let's get onto it and see what we need to do. Keyring there. Some pieces. Dash mounts. Oh, little screws in there. Might keep that um, keep that sealed up. So I'll take it that we'll start with um, removing the front headlight plate so we can get into there. What do we need up in there? Phillips, Phillips screwdriver. This sucker was glued on at one stage, so like that. So you got the old dash out in the eight mil. I'm thinking we're gonna have to get into potentially power, so I might we'll take this take this back seat off. All right, so we have the the bracket with the the longer bolt through here, and the shorter bolt goes through here. So once you get all that sorted out, <clears throat> once again, I'll just do this up. Just do this up firm. Till, till we work out exactly where we're going to do it, I'll sit on it and have a look and see what the best position. Just leave that loose so I can move that up and down. So we've got this bit here. I believe that screws into the factory, factory spot in here. So we'll have to run that up, run that up through here. So it can plug into the plug into the dash. So it's all mounted up there. Bracket through there. Bracket up to there. Bolt through there. So, all sweet. So we'll um, we'll run this cable. Yeah, it's a six mil there. Get that off to run the. Run the new cable through the factory spot there. Phillips head, undo this. Get rid of that all together for now. Unplug the unplug the headlight and put that over here. Little clips here, so we'll just clip the speedo cable off that one. From here goes into a loose wire there so that's the factory factory speedo to there oh, fuck around with this stuff unclip that oh I dare say that is going to be a um a caliper off job looks like looks like uh, maybe ten mil. So we're gonna take this um oh undo this caliper off here. 
to get at that um, get at that speed sensor in there. Can you remind me too when I put these back in to um, put some thread locker on them? <laughs> so looks like that's probably going to be eight eight mil. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Oh, looks pretty good to me. Don't these work so easy, these bloody wire plugs when there's no mud and shit in them? Put some Loctite on those and put them back in. Those bolts. We'll give them a bit of a hit with the... A little bit of a hit with the wire brush here, just to... And we'll put... Some thread locker on here. Thread locker on there. Uh, line these um, pads back up on the caliper there. Slide them. Sucker back in there. Always pays to start the um, start the threads by finger or by hand, whatever you want to call it, before you start screwing them up, just to make sure that you got the thread started properly before you use a spanner on it and cross thread it or something. A lot of this stuff's only alloy, so. Doesn't take much to strip it or cross thread it. Pays off if you do anything like this, especially when there's brakes and wheels and stuff involved that you um, you double check them after your first ride, just to make sure nothing's come loose on you. So we'll plug this in and and route this. Yep, factory clips take that. Make sure that's loose down there. Another clip there. Another clip there. You can just adjust those anyway to suit suit where you want them. This wear suits. Bring them down through there. Plug that sucker in. They give you zip ties, so we'll use the supplied zippies. Zip tie that bit to there. Another zippy. Put that to there. That to there. Oh, fuck it, we're a bit fucking stubborn, eh? I'll suck it back on here to hold that in place. Being a bit, bit stubborn. So that's all sweet back in there. Nip all these zip ties off. <clears throat> Do need to run this power. So obviously this power cable needs to run to battery. So. Easiest way to do that is to remove the remove the tank, do it properly. Yes. Yep, 
let's run. <sighs> so we'll nip that off with a bit of spare. This wire back. Strip the wire back. Back. Get some. Tubing, some heat shrink, some soldering iron, and some solder. So done properly, soldered with heat shrink eight mil to undo this earth on that side Alright, so moment of truth is um, we'll spin this front wheel and see if this um, speedo lights up. Oh, look at that. So it's in miles per hour at the moment, so I'll have to, um, I'll have to set that to kilometres per hour. Uh, and I'll more than likely have to change the um, wheel diameter as well being that it's got the 17-inch um, motard on it instead of the 21-inch um, moto, which I think it pretty sure it comes set standard. So that's pretty much the install. Um, I have to obviously put the seat and the tank and that back on. So this was done with the original uh, magnet in the front, front uh, disc here. So we've got the new speed sensor in there, uh, runs up, follows the brake line into the factory mount there, factory clips here, another factory clip there, factory clip, factory clip, round. So the dash doesn't look much different to the standard one in there. It actually sits in there quite nice. So I've tightened all that up because I'm happy with that where that is there. So I've set the time, set it from miles per hour to kilometres per hour. Um, so you can click through here. So it changes because I've spun the wheel. It's the average speed six kilometres per hour, maximum speed zero. Um, so distance and then. Uh, distance to uh, odometer up there so tell you how many k's you've traveled so I've set the wheel diameter I think 18, 1884 is it's your diameter of your wheel times 3.14 so we'll see when I take it out for a test ride see if it feels the right speed uh, when I get the opportunity I'll get um, get Simone to follow me in the um, in the car and make sure we're pretty close so that is an install on the Trail Tech Endurance 2 Speedo that's the optional uh, aluminium protector that you can you can get there with it it obviously uh, mount off the factory uh, mounts I think on that one but like I said, because I'm not going off-road, the uh, handlebar mount that's included will be spot on. So, till next time, Raz out. So you got this end here that goes down. I believe that screws into the factory. Uh -oh. oh, that's fallen over.
over, so that's been fucking useless. Let's see if I've got some uh, donkey dick convoluted tube in here. Make sure you got fuel off so it doesn't piss out everywhere. Mm -hmm. Hey, fucking. So you got this end here that goes down. I believe that screws into the factory. Uh -oh. oh, that's fallen over. So that's been fucking useless. <laughs>